Let's talk for a moment about the virtual IP address configuration. Even though we are fully supportive of IPv6 at this level, and that's still what we're talking about, an IPv6 implementation, the virtual IP address is still an IPv4 event, right? We're still using IPv4 here. And IPv4 is put right in here. Now, this is the native one that you're going to see for the virtual address uh, configuration. Don't remember what the virtual address is. Please uh, go back to the previous lesson where we discuss what virtual addresses actually are for. Now, what happens here is we're going to derive an IPv6 address here by just adding a double colon at the front, throwing some Fs in front of it, four Fs in front of it, adding a colon, and then putting 192.0.2. That's all we're going to do. That's how we're going to translate this into an actual configuration. So not a super... Uh, uh, a, a super difference in the actual configuration. But remember, our virtual IP address is only for IPv4. That's what we're going to set it up as, IPv4. Then the, the actual IPv6 address will be derived automatically for us by the wireless LAN control. Now, we continue to talk about guest access for IPv6. What if we have a guest anchor or anchor that we use for our guest traffic. Well, in 8.0 code, that's fairly easy. We use the CAPWAP 6 version 6 tunnel, and we're using IPv6 addresses here and here. Remember, I said that 8.0 code is pretty much the full Monty when it comes to IPv6. We get all the features, so we can go native IPv6. It's only when we have a mix of codes that we have to use this EOIP tunnel and we have to use IPv4 on this side and IPv4 on this side. So a little bit of a difference. When we're using native 8.0 code, not a problem. We can use IPv6 on the ends of these tunnels. Everything works perfectly for addressing. When we're not using native 8.0 code, remember there's some shortcomings at that 7.6 code. We can't go native IPv6 anymore. So we have to use IPv4 addresses on the interfaces, use an EOIP tunnel, and then be aware, we've already talked about this. If you forgot, you've got to go back to those previous lessons. 7.6 code, there are some limitations for IPv6. Yes, we do have the ability to look at those ICMP version 6 messages and still do some management there. It's not as bad as 7.0 code, but still there are some limitations as to our infrastructure deployment.